Today, I'm gonna to show you how I shot this men's skincare campaign and how you can replicate this one light setup yourself. Thanks for stopping by the channel. My name's Michael Wright and I'm a commercial photographer based in the UK. The majority of my work is very hair or beauty focused. So today, I wanted to take you behind the scenes on this men's skincare shoot. The brief was to capture a number of models with different skin types for an upcoming product launch. We wanted to create very clean, premium images to be used across their marketing channels. We actually photographed a number of products maybe half a year prior to this shoot, and we needed to match the photos from that previous shoot. Now, luckily, thanks to all the behind the scenes photos we had, it wasn't an issue matching the light. I wanted the photos to be punchy with a good amount of contrast whilst keeping the skin looking amazing. I didn't want a really specular light that was too harsh or a really diffused soft light. For this type of look, I always tend to go towards my parabolic and this parabolic in particular is a parabolic umbrella made by a company Parabolics. They're based in Los Angeles. When I'm photographing skin, I generally want to see pores. I don't want to fill in all those pores with lots of soft light coming from all different directions. I quite like something that's not a hard light source, but not very, very diffused either. I want to see some of that shine and texture in the skin. As you can see here, my light's directly over my head. This creates a very even light source with minimal shadow fall off to the left and right of our models as the light's coming from directly in front of our models. Now you can see how dramatic the light is with just the one light and no fill under the chin. I didn't want this on this occasion, so all I'm gonna do is bring in a bit of polystyrene to fill in some of those shadows. The light that comes off these poly boards is really, really soft. Um, and I find that it's ample for filling in the shadows under the chin if you're doing sort of tighter crops. If you're shooting full body, you might want a second light to put in from underneath your model. But when I'm shooting hair and beauty, I often tend just to go for a bit of polystyrene. It's nice and cheap. And uh, you can see um, how battered and bruised this is. This has been everywhere with me, literally everywhere. With my lamp head defocused in this parabolics, it creates a much softer light than if you were to fully focus your light. The light from the lamp head actually hits more of the sides of the silver interior. It creates a bigger light source which wraps around your subjects a lot more. I'm also using some black flats in this photo. One just to kind of cut off a bit of the light that's spilling in from the windows and keeping that off the backdrop. The other one's to introduce a little bit more negative fill on the sides of our models. The style of lighting is very similar to clamshell lighting, which is used a lot in beauty. I use it a lot in beauty and hair myself. We're just using one light with a bounce rather than two lights. I really love parabolics for a lot of the hair and skin work that I do. It gives me a lot of control over the quality of my light. I like that I can create some specularity and capture finer details in the skin and the pores while shooting something that's very flattering for most subjects. Also, having the ability to focus or defocus the light helps me control the amount of light that spills onto the backdrop. Here we wanted the backdrop to fall to a dark grey and create a lot of contrast between the model's skin and white t-shirts. I'm really happy with how this project turned out. It's very much my style. I like quite minimalist, clean imagery, so this kind of ticks all the boxes for me. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more of this type of content. I also want to say thanks to my assistant Paloma and to Lander for filming this behind the scenes footage. Go and check their social media out in the description below. And thanks to Shake Up Cosmetics as well for letting me put this behind the scenes video together. Thank you for watching and see you soon.